What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome to a different kind of video on my channel. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you Hakim Mastor at full potential. He is a player that was added in the last career mode update if you didn't know that already. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a little look at how he does grow in career mode, looking at his full potential after 11 seasons of growth. We're also going to take a look at how he does start in career mode, what he does turn out to be and how he does actually play in game. But before we get into anything, I just want to say that I'm not trying to copy any other YouTuber in any way. And I am in fact going to leave a link in the description down below to all of the other YouTubers that have already done a video on Hacky Mastor. So you can go and check them out if you do want to guys. But now onto the player himself, Hacky Mastor. At the beginning of the game, when you do load onto the game and you do go ahead and purchase him, he will be 66 overall. At the age of 16, he will be worth £500,000 and he will be an exciting prospect. Looking at his standout stats though, at the beginning of the career mode, he really is very good. He's very agile, he's good with his ball control and dribbling. But other than that, his other stats aren't really that standout. And to make it even worse, his stamina really isn't that great either. He's 5'9", he can play as a central attacking midfielder, centre forward or right wing. He's got 3 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves, at medium low work rate. And he does also have the flare trait as well. And after 11 seasons of growth, he turns out to be an 88 overall at the age of 27. He is worth £42 million, so he did manage to reach his full potential. And he does have that special something because he does have the flare trait. Looking at his stats though, he has grown very, very nicely in his physical attributes. Unfortunately, his stamina has only gone up by plus 4, so still a very big issue there. And he is going to be very tired very quickly. But his technical attributes are where it really starts to get good for Mastor. He's got 97 ball control, 96 dribbling, 81 crossing, 82 finishing. He's got some great passing as well. Good long passing, good short passing, dark greens across the board to be honest. He's also got very, very good shot power as well and long shots. And he has got some good volleys and curve and also penalties as well. Overall, a very, very good player in his skill attributes. And the specialties that he does pick up along the way, he gets dribbler and also distance shooter as well. Overall, he does look like a very, very nice player and he has grown a lot. He's reached his full potential, but the real question is, he's very, very good. He looks amazing on paper, but is he any good in game? That's what we are going to find out. So now we are going to be moving on to the gameplay of Haki Mastor. Now, there is a lot to talk about with this guy. There are so many talking points. Good and bad points about this guy that I do have to say. Having played with him for a fair few matches, I compiled a few clips together of some of his best moments and some of his worst moments as well. And you'll be able to see that in the video. Now to start with, he's very, very good on the ball. He's very agile, very skillful. You'd expect that. He's got 5-star skills. And that means that he's able to get round defenders very, very easily. And that is something that I do like about Haki Mastor. You can get round defenders with ease. And if you like to dribble, this is the player for you. I have to admit, he is very, very good at dribbling. One of the best dribblers and skillful players that I have used on this year's career mode. He really is that good. And also he is, well, because he's got 5-star skills and the flair trait, you can basically pull off any skill move with him. And you can see there that I do a nice little Ronaldo chop there and a lovely little goal there by Hakim Mastor. He does have decent finishing inside the penalty area. It could be better, I will be honest. It's average at times. It's very, very inconsistent, that's for sure. His long shot accuracy, you'd expect it to be on target most of the time. And to be honest, it really was. It was on target a lot of the time, but it wasn't necessarily going in. Unfortunately, I got very unlucky. Wasn't able to get a single long shot in in this video, although he did make some very, very good runs, as you can see there. Making a really good run after crossing it into the middle, and he taps that one away to make it 4-0 in that match. He really is very good at making runs into the box, and that really does prove it right there. He's got good positioning. That really is one of his plus points. However, going back to his finishing, you'll see in a lot of the clips, the goalkeeper makes a save almost every single time 
that I do have a shot with Hakim Mastor. He gets around all the defenders, does all the hard work. And to be fair, I did get unlucky in some of the clips. I hit crossbar, I think, once or twice from long shots. And that was very, very unlucky to do that. Because he really did deserve to get a long shot in. But I'm just not that good at long shots. That's probably what it is, to be honest. You know, I'm sure you'd be able to score a few long shots with him. That right there really does sum up his finishing. It should be in the back of the net from that angle. But like I did say, his finishing is very inconsistent in general. Outside or inside the penalty area. And one game, he managed to get a hat trick. And then in another game, he just didn't even get a single goal. Even though he had so many shots on target. The goalkeeper either made the save or it just went over the bar. It really was a little bit disappointing at times. And that is something that I really was disappointed with. He's so good in all the other areas. Very good at dribbling and ball control. He's the perfect player for me. But I just think he needs a, a bit of better finishing, to be honest. He's not the best finisher in the world. And if you are going to be trying to score long shots with him, good luck. That's all I'm going to say because it is quite difficult, I have to admit. But this is going to be the end of this player review for Hakim Mastor. If you have enjoyed this player review and you do want to see more player reviews on this channel, I'm not really too sure if I'm going to make this a one-off thing or if I'm going to make a few more. It really does depend on the response that I do get on this video. But if you have enjoyed the player review, then of course leave a like on the video. And to be honest, Hakim Mastor, overall, I would say he's a very, very fun player to use. Definitely recommend you pick him up in your career mode. Whether you're doing a big team in career mode, a small team, either way, I think he'd be perfect for any team. He's a very fun player to use and I'm sure you guys will enjoy him if you end up picking him up. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there and I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.